Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is I'm going to open up the picture um, from my computer that I'm going to use to create this 3D image. I'm going to go with this one. And um, once you have your picture opened, um, the first thing that we're doing is we need to make two copies of the background. So I have this background here. I'm going to do Control J and that duplicates the layer. I'm going to name that one flat and then I'm going to do Control J again and rename this one pop up. So I have three layers all of the same image to start off with. Okay, so we do not need to see, we need to turn off the visibility of pop-up and flat. And we're going to be working with the background layer, so make sure you click on background layer. After you select the background layer, we're going to come down to the adjustments layer, and we're going to add a gradient fill. And we want, let's see, we want to click on this gradient fill and we want to change this black, double click that. We want to change it to a lighter gray. Um, I'm actually just going to type in the hex number right here. It's 929292 and hit OK and that changes it to that lighter gray. I'm going to hit OK on this and I want the angle, you can adjust the angle yourself here, but I want it to be I guess kind of more like that, um, where it's kind of grayer up top coming down to the white. Okay, so I'm going to hide that, uh, close this properties panel now. Um, so now I want us to click on the flat layer and turn on the visibility of your flat layer. Okay, so we're going to select now our rectangle, <clears throat> excuse me, rectangle tool, and we're going to drag out what we want. Let's see. I'm just going to drag about half of it down, about like this. Um, and then we're going to go up to Select and Transform Selection. Now in this area, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Perspective. And remember if you're working on a Chromebook without a mouse, two fingers on the mouse pad will right click. I'm going to click on perspective and I'm going to drag these corners from the outside and I'm going to click and hold and drag them in. And if I had room, which I don't because my picture is going up and down, I would take this out, but I don't really have room to do that so I'm only going to leave it to where it's at there. Did I um, mess that up? Let me try that again. Transform Selection, Perspective, there we go, okay. Um, and then I'm going to right click and I'm going to do Scale, I'm going to bring that in and bring this down a little, okay. And when you have it where you want it, you can click Enter. And now we're going to add a layer mask down here at the bottom. We still have our flat selected. Our rectangle is still here. We're going to click layer mask. And now it looks like we have this kind of bottom edge, you know, the, the paper part of it. Um, and you can see over here the thumbnail of what we cut out and that's all that's showing. Okay. Um, now, still working off the flat layer, we are going to add a stroke um, color. So we're going to go to effects and go to stroke. 
We want to change the color to white. And I'm going to hit OK. And we want to increase the size. Um, it's kind of your preference. Let me see what 15 looks like. Um, I actually think I wanted a little bit more. I'm going to go 30. All right, that looks good for me. And let's see. Oh, we want to position instead of outside. We want to change the position to inside. There we go. That looks better. And that is good. So I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we're going to select our pop-up and we're going to turn it on, turn on the visibility. And this is when we're going to use the um, lasso tool to select our main area. So you don't have to get super close, but you want to go around your area, I guess as close as you can without cutting things off. And then we'll clean it up. All right, so I've got my lasso around, and now we're going to come down and add a layer mask. And so right now we have this um, cut out, but it's sloppy around the ends. So to clean that up, I'm just going to make sure that I'm still on this pop-up. The dotted line is still around this. I'm going to use my eraser tool to zoom in. And I'll increase, and I'm going to just start cleaning this up. And I want you to clean yours up. I do not want to see these random things here. That is not a good picture. OK, so I have cleaned up my image. And now I am going to, I need to click on the flat layer and I need to reload the layer mask as a selection. So to do that, I am, oops, I did the wrong thing there. I am going to hold down control and I'm going to click on the flat part so that I get my dotted lines back around my image. So again, hold down control and click on the flat part so that you get those dotted lines to go back around. Um, with that selected, we want to, let me make sure I'm reading this stuff right. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to add a new layer below the flat layer. So I'm going to click down here to add a new layer. It needs to go below the flat layer, so move it down below. And we're going to rename this Shadow. We're going to do a um, fill on this one. We're going to go up to Edit and we're going to choose fill and we want to fill with black our mode needs to be normal and our opacity 100 and we're going to hit OK so we don't see anything yet but if you look over here on the layers you can see that we did something we will see that in just a moment all right, so now we're going to click on the flat layer mask, which is this black and white one. Make sure that is selected. And we're going to unlink them. So this little chain link that's in between, I want you to click that so that goes away. Now we're going to go up to Edit. We're going to choose Transform, and we're going to choose Warp. And I want you to drag the four corners, and it, there might be a little delay, just drag it up 
So it kind of looks like the paper is bending upwards on both sides. I'm going to go up on this one. And yes, there is a delay. Up and let go. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to press enter. Did I press enter? There we go. I'm going to go up to select and do deselect also so those dots go away. Um, now I'm going to click on the shadow layer. And we're going to apply the Gaussian blur filter. So I'm going to go up to the top to filter, blur, and I'm going to choose Gaussian blur. And let's adjust that to about 10.1. I'm going to hit OK, so it makes it a little bit blurry, like a shadow. And now, still with the shadow selected, we're going to lower the opacity. Let's click on that. Let's lower it down, I'd say about 60, to make it look more like a, a shadow. Um, now we need to reshape the shadow with the free transform tool. Um, because it doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to go up to um, Edit and choose Free Transform. And I want to take this shadow up. And I'm going to click here in the middle and take it in just a little bit on each side so that it looks like a true shadow. Let's see. There we go, I think that looks good. I'm gonna press enter to lock that in. Um, one thing I did forget get to mention, if once you do this with the paper and you make it you know, twist up, um, you might have to come back on your pop-up layer with your eraser and clean up um, down here. What is happening? Oh, I'm gonna click on this one. Oh, I'm using the cone stamp, that's why. The eraser. <laughs> My bad, it's late. So you might have to come down here to clean up a little bit depending on how everything looks. Um, okay, so now if you wanted to change your background color, like if you don't like um, the background color that's there, you can double click and change your gradient if you wanted a different color. Um, you could switch that around. Maybe you don't like it at all. Maybe you don't want, um, I don't want any of this. Let's see, let's close that, let's close that. Maybe you want to go with a different kind of a background. You know, you can certainly do that too. Um, let me see. Oh, well, that's interesting. I don't like it, but it's interesting. All right, I'll go with that one. And my picture is actually way too tall, so um, I'm going to crop it so that it's a little more manageable. Just down to like right there. And hit enter to crop. Oh, I'm trying to crop the, I need to do this one, sorry. Background layer, now I can crop it. All right, okay, I think, actually let me crop a little bit more. No. 
All right, I think that is good for me. Um, I don't know. Is that something that can be erased? What is that? No, I'm not sure what that line is for on the shadow. It's something to do. Is it on the shadow? Oh no, it's on the flat. Okay, I can remove it on the flat. That was bothering me. There we go. See, much better. All right, so this is my 3D image that I did. Um, you can leave the gradient that you had. You can change the color, you know, put a background that you want, um, but just make sure everything is cleaned up. It's a clean cut around the image. Um, you've got your paper shadow happening. Um, I'm going to rename this. Um, let's see. I'm going to rename this 3D effect. And if you want to work on it later, you save it as a PSD. Or um, if you are done, you can export it as a PNG. Make sure your opacity is all the way up. Save that, and there it is, your 3D image.